So, a lot of you guys know that I've had a messed up neck for a while now. It's actually something that's been bothering me for about three to four years on and off. I can't remember exactly what started it, but I have an idea of what started it. I'm actually in California right now getting looked at by doctors and surgeons and physical therapists and we have all finally come to a conclusion that I actually need a disc replacement surgery on my C5, C6 disc. So for those of you who don't know what a disc is, you have vertebrae in your spine and like C5 is a vertebrae and C6 is a vertebrae but in between every vertebrae there's this little squishy disc of cartilage that allows your body to move and uh, function however you move, surfing, whatever. What happened to me is I actually herniated one of those discs. That means that disc, that disc has torn. And once those discs tear, there's a very, very low chance that it'll ever go back into place. And what's bad about mine that the doctors have told me is that my disc, the herniation where it tore and is coming out, is actually pressing on my spinal cord. So that's why it's become a bit of a hazard or it's become dangerous. So there's not much you can do but replace this and you definitely cannot surf with this touching your spinal cord because it's like something catastrophic could happen, you know, it could do some serious damage. You know, professional servers, what people I don't think realize is at, at the size waves these guys are doing, they're coming down off you know, waves. It, it's like hitting cement. They're, they're, they're huge falls and huge heights. You're falling off a two-story building to come down on these things. So, and then pounded by the impact of the wave on top of them. So they take a lot of abuse. And... It's pretty crazy because I'm always super skeptical and I'm not a fan of surgery. And luckily I have people in my life who are physical therapists who deal with injuries who aren't fans of surgery. I have surgeons that I know that aren't fans of surgery. So yeah, I'm sitting in the doctor's office and the doctor just looks at me and he's like, either you stop surfing or you get the surgery. And me coming from like a big wave winter season, like having the greatest time ever, just being like, oh my God, like. I either have to stop surfing or replace this disc. I just like my whole world in that doctor's office, I just went like tunnel vision and got like lightheaded and I can't even, they were, they, were, they were talking and I was just like, I didn't even hear them. I'm just like, this isn't real. This is like not real. I don't need spine surgery right now. I'm going to wake up from this dream. And I didn't. So I remember I went to this other guy who I was referred to who is also a really good, well-known spine surgeon. and. He's like, wait, you've been surfing for how many years with your disc like this? I was like, three to four. And he's like, you're, you're crazy. He's like, you gotta replace this. I was like, oh my God. And then that's when I was like, here we go. I gotta replace it. Now I gotta pick who I gotta go to. And I finally made the decision to go to those people in Newport who I was referred to by a good friend who's fixed me up a ton of times. His name's Dr. G and uh, He's like, these guys understand athletes. They're the best in the world. Like people fly over, fly in from all over the world to get um, surgery done by these guys. And I was like, well, here we go. So today starts the journey of getting ready for surgery, spine surgery. Step one on this journey of neck surgery is our COVID test. And we're here waiting to get a Q-tip shoved up our nostrils. <laughs> okay, Just yeah. ahead that way. Don't move. Just gonna take a few seconds. It feels like getting. Have you ever gotten water up your nose or soda up your nose when yeah. you're walking, or you know when you're surfing and water goes <laughs> up your nose? My eyes are already watering. That's what it feels like. Okay, so just don't move. <laughs> don't move. 
Good job, you did it. See? Oh my god. It feels like exactly like blue water it feels, right? Oh my god, it touched my brain. Right? It does oh. that. Where are you going? Oh. Okay. I have to get surgery. Oh, you do? For what? Uh, my neck. What'd you do? Oh my god. Too much surfing? <laughs> Too much surfing, yeah. Oh no. Oh. Do that. You can't do that. That was surfing. bad. Okay. Got the COVID test done, headed down to Newport to stay at this hotel that's like five minutes from where I'm going to get surgery. I'm going to stay there for a few days, recover, and then come back up here to Venice Beach and then hopefully be surfing very soon. So we're finally here. This is where I will be staying for three days. I'm literally walking distance from the surgery center where I get my spine replaced. No, disc replacement. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna be posted up here for about three days and they wanted me here because it's an outpatient surgery and if they do release me that day, they'll release me to this specific hotel because it's right down the road from their office so they can like keep a close eye on me if they need to. But yeah, this is it. Here we are. Welcome to my crib. This is the bed, and yeah, it's pretty comfy, I'd say. Game plan, tomorrow morning is the day. We gotta be at the, the surgery center at 7.30 in the morning for a nine o'clock surgery. I should be done with surgery. It's a, it's a 45 minute to an hour long procedure, they said, and they're gonna keep me there for possibly overnight, but if they do discharge me, like, towards the evening, it'll be to this hotel. That's why I got the hotel. And um, yeah, tomorrow starts the first day of my new life. Having full motion in my neck, no pain. I'll be able to surf two foot rocky point and not be out for a month from falling on a wave this big. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm honestly, I can't lie, I'm, I'm actually really scared and nervous. Like my heart will just start racing thinking about it. But maybe that's just me because I'm freaked out about surgery and going under and getting sliced open by a doctor. So, yeah, tomorrow morning, a new life, a new neck. <laughs> I'm so nervous, dude, I can't even talk. This is scarier than surfing. Why am I doing this? I know why. So I don't have to retire surfing at 27 years old, like they told me I'd have to. God. We just, we have a good time, but we definitely, we definitely pay the price. You know? And this is it. I'm just lucky I have access to super good doctors and people who know what they're doing, and I can get some of the best the best, <laughs> best medical help in the world, you know? It's just spooky. Look at that building right there, that old glass one. That's where it is. It's like I can't eat or drink anything this morning and I can't have coffee. This might be the first morning I haven't had coffee in a super long time. Morning. You are seeing Dr. Bray this morning mm -hmm. and he's doing a cervical five six anterior cervical dissecting and artificial dish replacement. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. You change into the gown. Okay. Your gown ties in your back. You take off all clothes, underwear, jewelry, everything comes off. You put it in this bag. Okay. Also in the bag is a pair of socks. Okay. We'll be right in this room. Okay. I'll hand this to you. I can't and get the ties on my back. Yeah. <laughs> Cole, what side of the bed do you get in and out on? I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> Just laying in a hospital bed. There's a possibility I'll be able to get out today. Mm -hmm. 
So as long as your pain, if he said that to you, um, then as long as your pain is controlled, as long as you're not nauseous, as long as you're walking around, and as long as you're able to empty your bladder mm -hmm. without any problems, then that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Is this it? Thanks. That's it. Thanks. All right. No, because they said if I can empty my bladder. Oh, yeah, yeah. That wouldn't be a question if I had a catheter. Right, okay. Right? I don't know. I don't get a catheter, right? Usually you do. Really? But we can talk to Dr. Bray because you're younger. If you were to have it, it, it goes in before or well, after your sleep and it comes out before you wake up. We should try to not do that. Let's talk to him about it. Okay. Okay. I promise I won't pee. Oh, it's not, it's not that. It's actually so they can give you fluids while you're asleep in your IV to hydrate you. And if we don't have a catheter in, then we can't tell if we're overloading you and if your body's filtering everything out. But we'll talk to Dr. Bray because it's one level. It might not be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be a call light. So once you are hooked up to everything, like that and, and, and then you know today we have you sit up eat drink walk around hanging out you know, this doesn't tend to hurt it, it tends to be kind of here because yeah. your disc is pretty collapsed and you know we pop it open um, which you need to do to get everything cleaned out yeah um, but you know generally it's a pain pill muscle relaxant nice packs for you know a few days uh -huh. maybe a week and um, you f oftentimes you feel good look good but you're not healed so we're kind of slowing you down you know especially in your case we're okay. gonna have to like kind of rein you in a bit yeah um, but you know you can get therabands or a coming bike a couple weeks you can get in the water probably you know a month post-op three or four weeks something like that okay and um, you know it's a pretty active recovery it just takes about you know, eight to ten weeks so the the, the, the little device has metal on each side, plastic in between. Yeah. And so the metal is what knits to the bone. Okay. And that takes eight to ten weeks. And so that's you know until that's fully knit, yeah. do we worry about things moving? Yeah, but super unlikely. So what about? Well, I, I was curious too, like the disc just being in there, when, like just a week from now, like how? Like what if I like, I don't know, like fall? <laughs> like, I don't know something yeah. like. No, no, I mean, I understand that, but, uh, I, you know, even if you ha had a major fall, you yeah. know, or like a car accident. They're already lodged in there. It, I mean, that thing is really tight in there. Okay. So, you know, I guess theoretically it's possible, but yeah. I, it's so well fixated when we leave today that it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, that's... So, that's you, don't, you don't have to worry about it. I know, sorry. We can, we can turn them off if you want. No, no, you're good, you're good. I follow you on Instagram. My, my son, uh, we're all surfing family. Oh, family, no way. Family on Oahu, family in Maui. Uh, Maui. Oh, what a small yeah. world. Yeah, right? And then it's crazy. Your anesthesiologist used to work at Queens. Really? Uh, yeah. So we're all surfers. Whoa. Take good care of my friend. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> we got you. Y'all ready? I'm, I'm ready. Any, Any questions? questions? Uh, okay. <laughs> no. No. Just a little Don't nervous. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> trying not. I'm not nervous at all. Yeah. That's good. Okay. <laughs> That's good. You've been fine. He says you're going to walk around this afternoon. Because we're going to be holding you back. It's the biggest thing. Yeah. We, we, we want to do things very quickly. Okay. So, it'll be smooth. Just got real once everyone got in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take a deep breath. We'll see you there. Yeah. Okay. So by the, we're going to give you some medication before you go in, and it's just going to kind of make you feel like you can't be bothered by really anything at all. Okay. So that's coming your way. You can look forward to that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, brother. I'm Dr. Barrow. going to be your anesthesiologist for today. Nice to meet you. Good yeah. to meet you, brother. So, Cole, you've had surgery before? Oh, is it once? No, where is it? Oh, 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 a while ago. Put to sleep, yeah? Yeah, put to sleep. Okay. And, um, I actually woke up throwing up super sick and like... That's not going to happen most today. Most no, awful thing I've gone yeah, no, that's horrible. That's, especially after surgery, like a stressful thing like that, you need to be cone vomiting afterwards. Yeah. So I'm going to throw the kitchen sinky as far as anti nausea stuff, avoid certain things, give you a bunch of fluids. We'll get you through it. We have a good okay. track record. Um, and what are we doing for it today? Do you know what part of the body we're we working on? Uh, the neck, C5, C6, perfect. replacement. Perfect, perfect. I used to work at Queens, so... 
Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a small world. <laughs> too small. It's, a, it's an incestuous family. All know. Yeah, she <laughs> yeah. was just in Hawaii. You used to wear your queens. Yeah. Your raps are, we got a whole crew. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Okay. So we're going to put a little patch it's behind you. better now. <laughs> yeah. I've had this before. It's like Sorry. a seasick patch. Right? Exactly. Yeah. It's a motion super helpful. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we'll put that on and then I'll, a bunch of other stuff I'll do for you. So we'll get you through without being nauseous. Though. Okay. Do you have Thank any you. questions for me, sir? Uh, Okay, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't go over the Middle East with you. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's smart. No, we'll get you through, brother. No worries, okay? Okay, okay thank you. No worries. This is There's what a technical I've been term for this drug, but I like to call it, I don't give a shit what they do to me today after you take this. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I used to work at Castle, Queens, and there was another one on Liliha called, uh, used to be Hawaii Medical Center or St. Francis. They closed this in a second. Feel it? <laughs> Told you I you don't care about what we do today. <laughs> A little yeah, out of it. A little rock and roll. You're not going to go to sleep. You're just not going <laughs> to... A little rock and roll. A little rock and roll, dude. That's all. It's almost yeah. Easter. It's almost Easter, right? <laughs> There's a very good chance that I would get up and fall out of this bed. Should I take your phone? You know something to be a Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Go live. <laughs> it's time. It's time. Let's do it. Oh. Get you feeling better. I'm so glad I was just injected with that. Stuff. <laughs> 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 that would have been. <laughs> could have been. Could have been rough. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit. All right, we'll take good care of you. Yeah, see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Not good. <laughs> I even wore my Paisel shirt underneath today just to yeah, celebrate today. Honor. We so gotta get you guys is, some This Is Living shirts. And yeah, this okay. is the door you were asking about. Right, Lon. Cool. Okay. See you guys soon.